This is a river. Yes, this is a river. <laughs> this is how they gave it to me. <laughs> So if it rains too hard, the house is not going to survive. Coming to a river that flows through Kibera. This is a river that flows through Kibera. This is a river? Yes, this is a river. It comes from the remaining part of the forest. It sources from the remaining part of the forest. So from the forest, it's normally very clean that you can consume it. But when it gets into Kibera, the pollution starts because that is when now people start throwing everything inside the river and it becomes polluted. And this run, river runs all from the end of Kibera up to the other end of Kibera. Wow. Mm -hmm. So now, Kibera also, this is how divided the informal part of Kibera into two. Now we have two parts of Kibera. We have this side and the other side. So for now, we finished the first part. Now we are going to the second part, which is the other side. And now we're still on the other side. And now those are the apartments. Any wow. Please bring for me a cup. I want to go back. Yeah. And even that most of the people who come with the kids, the kids normally walk the whole distance. Right. And like the adults. That's true, because yeah. we don't walk a lot. Okay. We have New York City blocks to yeah. walk. Yeah. yeah. So like with the movies that are normally acted in your countries, you find that at a certain point, these people involve the street people and like the whole community. How mm -hmm. do you go about that? What do you mean? During acting. Oh no, they, they, they are all... So you know, living in Kibera is all about associating good with each other. You might be in trouble one day and the other people will have to arrest you. So I used to live in these areas. Oh yeah? To other parts, yeah. So you still, now, you still I, live here now? Yeah, I live near the school. Wow. Yeah. My house is visible from the school. Ah, me when you any security. Security I'm going invisible. I call invisible. In Kabira. Yeah, they Today. know. Uh, Kibera. They know. Kibera. Yeah. They know everything. <laughs> well, I tell you this much. This is definitely an experience. <laughs> I, I, I thought she was trying to offer me a girlfriend or something. She said the no. woman. <laughs> so the problem with her, she was like, she was asking me like. Is, is my brother not helping me with the money? Mm. And I'm like, I like to have that. Oh, my brother has got foreign currency and they normally keep it in the bank. So it must come to the Kenyan bank to be exchanged. That's when you have the money. Mm. And that's when she said, oh, so you can't help me. Let me just go. Oh, yeah. she followed us for a very, very yeah, long she time. for a really, a very long time. It's a little hard to believe that people live here. Yeah. Looks like it's made out of mud. Wow. That's what it looks like. Mud and mud and rocks. So if it rains too hard, the house is not gonna survive. So when the rains are too much. So you can see even on top of that roof, there is a space mm. in between the wall and the wall. So you find that when the rains are raining with the wind is 
type of thing, the water will always enter the house. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once they don't run to me, they can run to yeah. they can run to Karen all day. Uh. <laughs> Wait, that, that is your name, right? Karen. Karen. Yeah. Yeah. He's you, you feeling got... jealous that the kids are running to you and not coming to him. Karen, Karen got all the cultural bad names. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I did. In our streets. This is our area because the school is just over there, the white building. So, people know each other depending on the area where you live in. Mm. So you find that in this area, you might probably know like a whole lot of people. Because you share the same things, you buy in the same shops, you walk in the same area and all that. I say that we will be collecting trash from people, then putting them elsewhere, and later on they pay us. That's why you see that this area is a bit clean because the people in this area now don't just throw their garbage anyhow. Instead, they have a polythene paper, paper where they dump them. Then at the end of the week, the boys come for it. In turn, you give them some money. Oh, there's a you could you could get tested for these things here at the lab. Yeah, you can. Good. So it's like a small hospital. And those are what we rely on since the hospitals are always located very, very far away from the community. Mm. Yeah. So we are going to go directly to the school. What's that? That thing is high tech. Yeah. 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 I, bought, yeah. I bought it in Vietnam, a little oh. overpriced. <laughs> I wish I bought it from the States. But... <laughs> so you watch. Huh? <laughs> So what is it made of again? Flour and what else? It's cooking oil. Mm -hmm. It's flour and cooking oil only. So when you are duffing the the flour, you use at least a little bit of warm water. You make it to be that way, then you add a little salt while duffing. Then you don't leave it for some time, no, you just use it immediately. So you make it round using like the wooden stick, then you are making it on the pan, you put some cooking oil. How long does it take to make? To make the flour, it depends on the quantity you are making. Let's say you want to make like four. Like four chapatis, mm -hmm. it will be, take like only 10 minutes to make it, yeah, it won't take a lot of time. <laughs> this is how they give it to me. <laughs> 